All you want to do is see a house. Why is the agent requiring you to sign an agreement? It's a great question and one that we're going to talk about because this is a new development in the real estate world. We're also going to talk about why it's happening and how it actually protects you as well as the agent. So what is this agreement all about? And what are they asking you to sign? It's most likely a one-time showing form that breaks down the type of relationship that you will have with the agent showing you the property and then the compensation that you would pay them should you end up purchasing that property. An agent's most valuable commodity is their time and this agreement ensures that should they spend their time as well as their material resources in order to get to the property, then they will be compensated at whatever agreed upon amount is in that agreement. Now, the agreement will ensure that all parties are aware that the agent is what is called procuring cause. In other words, that because they are showing you the house, then that means they were the one that introduced you to that said house and are therefore entitled to the compensation should you buy that house. What does all this mumbo jumbo really mean, quite frankly? Essentially, if you see it with that agent, then you can't go out and write an offer with another agent or an attorney that says they would represent you for less because of that procuring cause. Oh, real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb. And I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then no, I'm here to help. So that's what the agreement is. That is why it's signed. But the NAR settlement between homeowners made it a requirement to have a form signed in order for a buyer to see a house with an agent. Now, it could be a one-time showing form like we just discussed, or it could also be a buyer agency agreement where an agreed upon relationship has actually been established between an agent and a buyer for a set period of time. So how does all of this benefit you? How you the consumer benefit is that you have the transparency of how much that agent charges for their services and you do have the ability to negotiate with that agent. Can you decline to sign it? Absolutely, sure. But the agent, they're not gonna show you the property. Again, it's a requirement. If you are not happy with the terms, then you can negotiate with that agent. If you and that agent are not able to come to terms, then you can find another agent that will. Ultimately, you will get what you pay for. Seller's agents may be willing to show it for less, but the relationship will always be with the seller, which will likely affect your results. Hence the name, the seller's agent. The one-time showing form will ultimately have two different types of relationships on it. The two relationships are when the agent is acting as a facilitator or a buyer's agent. Now, a buyer's agent is simple. This is when the agent is actually representing the buyer exclusively. A facilitator is an agent that's just helping put the deal together. They are not representing the buyer. They are essentially just drafting the contract and managing the transaction. They are not there to work in the best interests of the buyer. That's very important. Ultimately, I see that these one-time showing forms, they're gonna be used in two situations. The first is when the agent and the buyer have not formalized a relationship, maybe in the first couple houses that the buyer is viewing. Then there will be the buyers that just don't wanna work with an agent and believe that they're going to get a better value by going it alone. Now, I know it is different than what we have become accustomed to, but it's a good thing. It offers transparency to everyone and it ultimately professionalizes the buyer side of the real estate business. And one more thing, I know there are going to be people that are rude and downright nasty to the real estate agent. It's not their fault. Heck, it's not even their broker's fault. They are complying and doing their job. For those that don't like it, I get it, but don't shoot the messenger. Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Don't hesitate reaching out with questions. Or if you're thinking about buying or selling a house, then I'd love to chat with you. Until next time.